just chilling here, sitting in my car, waiting for someone to show up at this coffee shop. What am I doing here? You're not going to believe it. Uh, well, okay. Let me explain once it all goes down, make sure it happens correctly. It is uh, 4.45. I'm going to go for a quick run and then meet this guy and hopefully all goes well. Woo! Good day for a rainy run. There's the rain coming down. Okay, so you're probably wondering what uh, I was meeting this person for. Um, shoes. Shoes. I took a risk. This is a risk. I like taking risks, as you've probably figured out. Uh, if you've been watching for a while, bought me some Hoka Clifton's. Hoka Clifton's. There they are. I've never done this before, but like I said, uh, well, maybe I didn't mention this already. True Love and I, my wife, Bridget and I, we are on a tight budget. And these shoes, brand new, I believe around 120 bucks. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money for uh, a pair of shoes that you're only going to wear for... I can go through a pair usually in about two to three months, so we don't have that kind of money right now. So I went on Craigslist, let go, let's go, let go, let go, another app like Craigslist, and then I actually found these for the first time I used Facebook Marketplace. So these were, yeah, I talked him down from, he had it at 50 bucks, and I'm like, ah, oh, come on. Now, the guy, I just met him, his name is Philip, great guy. Uh, I trusted him, he said he only wore them twice, put about 15 miles in them. Um, and he just didn't like the fit, didn't like the fit. Now I have already worn this model of Hoka before, the Clifton, and uh, so I'm very, very excited. Um, so I'm excited and uh, they're gonna go to good use. And uh, yeah, he put 15 miles on them so they've got a lot of mileage left. Uh, I bought them for 30. I topped them down 20 bucks. So not too shabby to, to go from 120 bucks, brand new to putting 15 miles on them, talk them down to 30 bucks, we'll take it. Whew. Let's go home. We're on a budget, people. We're on a budget. Seth, are we supposed to be hanging out on the coffee table, playing with Mama's stuff? Mama's kitchen stuff? <laughs> what are you doing up there? Why is Mickey Mouse? I said last week about toys and the children if they don't clean up after themselves it's either going to goodwill or in this case going in the trash I'm sorry we're done we're done picking up after the boys we these are going in the trash it's Monday it's Monday! And I did not forget the comment of the week. I didn't forget this week, all right? We're getting back on track. Like I said, to all the new sub sub subscribers, every week I give a shout out to the best comment in the previous seven days. So, uh, we're gonna dive right into it. So if you take the time, write out a great, well thought out comment, you're gonna get a shout out for the comment of the week. And uh, this week, it goes out to, well, it actually goes out to two people. I couldn't decide. Uh, you're just, it's too good. So, on the vlog titled, I'll try and link it up here so you can go see the comment, uh, you are our people, Cindy. Just, okay, this is in connection to the coffee discussion, which gives more shout outs to Damien and Carol. But Cindy just had some great, I can't read the whole thing because it's, it's long, but she did write this about coffee at work. The lounge at work poses special challenges, some like wheat coffee. 
Uh, some like strong coffee. Yay! To satisfy those who like weak coffee from the bun machine, I pull the pot out and catch the first strong coffee that comes out right smack into my special turquoise Fiesta Ware mug. And voila! The rest of the coffee is for the weak coffee lovers. Cindy, I would be right behind you if not fighting for that first position, I must say. Um, so, anyway, I, did, I can't read the whole thing, Cindy. It's an amazing comment. Go check it out, upper right-hand corner. And then, a shout-out to, and I think this is her first comment of the week. Let's see if I can find it. Alex, love you. Uh, Alex wrote on the vlog, which vlog was this? What's happening behind me? So, once again, go check that out. Alex wrote, and this was in connection to the little uh, eh, reflection I gave about keeping life simple. She wrote, keeping life simple, exclamation point. Amen, exclamation point. Thank you for speaking about how important family is and not overdoing it on activities, sports, etc. Sometimes I feel guilty that we don't do more sports and things, but I completely agree. The family is the nucle nucleus of the society. I really love when Joseph is telling you all the ways he can use his water bottle. Kids think of so many things. He's so cute. Alex, thank you. You get a comment of the week as well. Thanks for commenting, everybody. Um, I'm going to stop the vlog here. I know, gosh continue to bear with me. I'm trying to find that balance between work, running, family, and vlogging, and taking care of the house. I, I still need to paint the house. It's like there's a lot to do in this world. So trying to keep these vlogs a little more concise. That's why I haven't been filming all day, but more like the last five hours, basically once I get off work and then to now. So <sighs> thanks. 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 See you too.